This is like our honey hole place, isn't it? This is the hole of honeys. Why do you think it's so crude? What? <laughs> you, that's your mind. It's in the gutter all the time. See if we can do this one shot and get like bare stuff because we tend to do quite well with this one. So let's see what we can do. Okay? Bare stuff. Bare honey. Stuff. Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh. Nice one. Nice one. Okay, so first thing that's come up is this, and I'm pretty sure I remember it. So this is six pound. It's called. Let me just get it out for you. I think it says Mayer, Mayer, something like that. M A I E R, and it's got the Simpatex. So I'm pretty sure the Simpatex is like an old kind of waterproofing thing. I saw the Mayer jacket like years ago, years ago, for what 30, 40 pound. So let me find my phone. I'm gonna see if I can work it out. You got Mayer here, but it's Thomas Mayer, Mayer Sports. I think it was one of these Mayer Sports that I picked up the other day, or the last time I did. Let's have a look. Is that similar? Um, I think that's the one. I think it is Sports, so I think it's like a vintage Mayer Sports jacket. This one might like the old style rather than the newer style. So I like it. I like it for myself even, but it's quite nice. Now, I picked this one up as well. This is four pound. This is wool alwero. It's just like a vest. But for some reason, vests always seem to do well. And I like it. And it's like proper, look at it, it's proper furry, isn't it? Proper furry, proper woolly. Obviously, because it's wool. I'm going to check this brand because I've never heard this brand either. There's one there, Deep Pile. I think that's similar, isn't it? That went for $34. So, it looks pretty good to me. It's exactly the same one, 2XL. Okay, so there's literally one active, sorry, there's two active. One is in the United States and the other one is in Ukraine. And then they've got some little mini boots here. So I think that could be desirable. Like no one else has got them. So I could put a nice price on that, maybe like 40, 45 pound. It's just fitting, it's just in time for the winter as well. Do you know what I mean? Someone's gonna be rocking that, aren't they? Someone's gonna be loving that for definitely. I don't know if this is anything, but Wellington of Billmore. That just sounds posh, doesn't it? There's a a trench chore that went for like 40 quid yeah but then after that so it's just like let's have a look how many active there is oh. so there is what three sold there's none active normally i'd probably go for it but there's 26 active in fact let me just check worldwide sometimes the international sales that come up straight away so what yeah, it's all the same. And that's got a wool lining. The only one that's all had a wool lining as so, well. So, probably leave it. Probably leave it, yeah. Well, it looks posh enough, doesn't it? That's it, looks good. it looks good in theory. It looks good in theory, <laughs> yes. So this is just a standard fat face jumper, but I'm loving that shawl neck. And it's just a bit like fisherman, isn't it? It's got like the little fisherman accent. I don't know what that even means, but it works. Four pound, it's a large. It's got a bit washed out, so it's got that nice look to it. You probably get about 20 pounds for that quite nicely, so. We'll give that one a go. Normally I only pick up the half sips, but I found that fat face stuff just, it just tends to do well. And especially because now it's autumn, people are just getting jumpers that they know they can rely on. So a nice brand like fat face is quite popular. So I think we'll give that one a go as well. Now this is something I haven't seen before. This is Col Colchi? Colsey? I'm not sure. I love you, but I've chosen Colsey. Fair play, I guess. But for some reason it's standing out. I've never heard the brand before. So if I never heard the brand, I tend to then look into it and see if it's any anything good. Not sure, it could be good. Let's see if it's let's see if it's anything. Right, we've got here, there's a Colchi jumper there, went for 40 pounds. See if it's the same label. I think it's the same thing. Well the jumper went for like possibly 30, 40 pounds. How much is it? Yeah, four pounds. Alright, let's give that one a go. Are you ready for this? Go on. Yes, yes, yes. Do you think that's cool? That's actually pretty cool, that. How old is it? It's old, man. Yeah. Saw the scene, obviously, you can tell because it's got a it's... padlock on it. <laughs> no. That's quite nice, isn't it? How much is it? Fiverr, like, would you? It's oh, proper good. retro, isn't it? Yeah, I like it. Or not? It's a shame it doesn't have the, the other one, the shoulder strap. But I think you could do something with that. Okay, I like it. You can have a check, see if it's in there. Is it in there? Let's have a quick look. Oh yeah, look at those tree falls, old school. I know. Could have had a dead body in there, be careful. Good night. I know, dipped in too hard on that. Yeah. Oh yeah, look at that label. Production date, 9803. So, 90s. Pretty sure it's 90s, or I could be wrong. No. But, 
I think for five, we'll give that a go, won't we? Yeah. Nice one, man. Nice Do you one. think? Yeah. Okay. Some men's kickers lows. They could go for about £40. Pound. Can they? Yeah. £8? Pound. Nothing alright, are they? Kickers, man. I ain't seen them for a while. It's the style, though, isn't it? Is it style nowadays? No, it? I don't know if it's nowadays, but it's. Do you know what I mean? They were styling, weren't they, at one point? Yeah. Yeah. I think they're nice. These fleeces are coming back out in force, so this is just a nice standard Berghaus fleece. So the only thing I have to check for is if it's bunched up. Sometimes they get put in the dryer, people tend to put it on the extra hot and then let it loose and it bunches up too much and shrinks. So this is slightly bunched up, but yeah, you can see there, in fact, that's pretty heavily bunched in it. Shrank somewhat, so we'll leave that. Okay, so we've got some scotch and soda chinos. Uh, so look how they are. They look alright actually, don't they? Not faded, too much. In fact, are they faded? I say too much, but it shouldn't be faded at all, should it? I oh, see it's got a bit of a bit of a ding there. So they would have been pretty good then, to be fair. I'm a bit put off. It's like it's like a tear into it. Yeah, it's a bit of a hole. So they are three pound, but it's definitely not worth it. All the prices, all the value is gone. As soon as like a little bit of a tear, because then obviously people are not a big fan of tears, are they? So so these are some mayor trousers, just the comfort ones, and they are the Romers. I tend to do quite well with them, but it seems like people buy these, don't know what the size is, and send them back. But I do put measurements and stuff in them all the time, so it's annoying, but I'm going to get them, because they do sell quite nicely, so for £4, I think they'll be okay. I spotted this in the corner of my eye. Don't know if anyone remembers this. Is it like a Wallace and Gromit kind of thing? But I did a Google search, and it comes up with Frank the Tortoise. The top end, the top end sale is 12 99 which is obviously a plus postage, so it's like 15 quid. It's £2.50, so I might still pick it up. But the only thing that's kind of put me off is there's a lot of them active. There's like at least 30 active. Only 10 have sold in the last, what, three months, so I don't think it's worth it. Even though, you know what I mean? It's, it is something, I don't think it is something. So you can stay there, Frank. Chill out, mate. This is weighs a ton. This is a Venga Swiss thing. Let's have a look. Why is it so heavy? Okay, so it's got a big binder in it, that's why. Um, it's like a binder organiser of some sort. I don't know the prices of this stuff, but Fenga always seems to disappear when I, when I do pick it up. So it's a black, pristine folio. Nothing very similar. Okay, there's one there. That's the exact one there. Presenter folio, which is, when, is active at 50 odd quid. Nothing of the sort in this country, so I might actually give this a go. Potentially, maybe like 30, 40 pounds, something like that, so, nice, very nice. Oh, look at that Toy Story thing. That's actually quite sick, that, isn't it? I think it's, yeah, it's H&M Toy Story. That's a nice little back here, isn't that, isn't it? Toy Story, it's going to be Toy Story 4, isn't it? Because it's got that one in it. No, is it? I don't know. I thought I was trying to be good then, but I don't know. Did you see that one? Yeah. H&M Disney, it could be something, but it might be like cheap, cheap. Have you turned me on? Yeah, have I turned you on? I might. Rugrats. Right. Aww. Wait, how am I not, not going to know I'm that? Just I'm just saying, get, I'll give you a fiver if you can guess what it's from. I used to watch Rugrats like... It's like new, man. That is so nice. I just want it for me. Yeah, but you know the rule, the reseller rule. If you like it enough, then it's going to be worth something, innit? I know, but look. What's the dog called? Um, can't remember. Spike. Spike. Is it? No. Yeah, yeah. Is it Spike? I'm sure it's Spike. Okay, so there's one there. Nicole, it's went for like twenty quid. Twenty quid. But it's not a lot active. So I think we should just get it. And it's getting it's Christmas like as well. New. It's like, like new. Yeah. That is new. Oh. That's pretty sick. Fine, that way. Pretty sick. Fine. Spike. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a go anyway, it's, it's £2.50. I'm sure someone's gonna like that, it's pretty cool, so I might not get a lot, but I might as well get it. What are we doing doing two-stepping now? This song makes you want to just go. <laughs> pack it tea, you see that one? Yeah, but it's just a bit plain and small. Would you pick it up? That's not a large. No, it's not large, is it? Alright, fair play, fair play. It's interesting to see, like, if you see stuff that I wouldn't see, that's bobbly as hell. It's, it's 2020 like, Queen. It's a Primark team, man. Yeah, yeah. It's Forget. not, but you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. 
This is why we don't take you out anymore. It's a children's. The original, oh, Barber Titan. That's not about, I think people go after that Barber International it's children's, bash. so I'm not sure. I think it's still good. Especially it's winter now, isn't it? So you think it'd be worth picking up? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Right, okay. Might not get loads, but I'm pretty sure you could still maybe possibly get £30. Okay. Do you know what It seems pretty good condition, only. Yeah. Oh, that's different. Kenzo. But is it real? I never well, know, that, you know. I don't know, but that I feel like that seems pretty all right, or not. £2.50. No? It's £2.50. We'll take it home and check it properly, yeah? But I'm never confident with it. Yeah, you know I mean? don't so. really. And then just Cavalli. Oh, that's always a good one. Pretty sure it isn't. How much? It's four pound. I think this is one that gets faked as well, but that looks legit. Yeah, that's though, legit. It? Yeah, I'm pretty sure like just Cavalli shirts didn't do well, but I think these will do well. T-shirts. So like, where is like the brand from? What is it? I'm pretty sure it's Italian. I don't know. We'll have to look into it when I get home. But okay, so there's a T-shirt there, which is a bit more out there, but that's forty-five pound. A T-shirt, thirty pound. And how much is it? Four pound. So it's alright, isn't it? Right, you want to take him to your man over there? I'll take him to my guy. Yeah, and that as well. Big. We've got some bits, don't we, today? Yeah. Look at this. I'm, I'm sure that is something. I don't know what. That's a Google it. Google map it. Google map it. Google, take a picture of it. World tour, grey. Yeah, it's just standard acid wash. It's like a boohoo thing, I think. But it's on a fruit of the loom, whatever. So, yeah, it's standard. I thought it was something, but I definitely know it isn't. So, I don't know if you're a koala. <laughs> Must have. Oh, what the chuff is that? <laughs> as always, as you know, it's a beautiful Levi's pocket tea. I can't resist a pocket tea, man. I love a good pocket tea. Do you know what I mean? I know, but do they sell? They do sell just standard, like 15 quid. It's like £3.50. I love okay. a good pocket. Okay. You've got to love for it, man. You know See, what I mean? I'm, I just swipe by that. Nah, man, it's all about the pocket teas, mate. This is my two tied function shirt, yeah? But if you're, that too, if you're that tired... You won't put top on, would you? You won't put top on, would you? Exactly. As a result... Is that, is that a good... Yeah, you did well there, mate. Lola's find it day. Was this bad boy? Look at that. And it's got, obviously, Beckham, Beckham on back. Beckham. Bend it like Beckham. The Q guy. And it's a proper one Q as well. He did. He queued. What? He queued, he did. Beckham. What's Q did? He was in Q. Oh, he queued, didn't he? He was in queue, he yeah, was. Yeah, good lad. He was in queue. Yeah, he was in queue, man. <laughs> he didn't skip the queue, did he? He still sell for more now, he went in queue. Oh, yeah, I might put that as a keyword. <laughs> queue. I, I think we say, what's queue? What's queue deed? What's a queue deed? <laughs> we paid up a bit more for it because he was a bit reluctant, wasn't he? Yeah. He was a bit reluctant. It does say £5 in it, but it was £15. Yeah. But I thought, you know what, I'm not going to take the mic. Yeah, you know I think I mean? he was ready to put it on eBay and then. Yeah. 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 So, nice one, mate. I think we did all right. We're back. There's some actual good bits. It's the same shop we've actually got the Star Wars thing from. Yeah, and I did pick up a wrap coat once from there as well. Yes, so take it away. Take it away, Ernie. This was a peat find. This was five pound. I picked this one up just because it's like a, obviously it's like, um, what do you call it now? A rugby top. No, the other one. Where do you, on King Charles and that. Oh, croquet. Uh, no, polo. Polo. Horse, horse polo. <laughs> Croquet. Okay. Kick a croquet, alright, posh it, chill out. But do they do croquet? Probably an aristocrat does it somewhere. It reminds me of like a potato croquet, is it? A potato do you know those round potato things? Where are we going with this? Are you hungry or something? What? Do you wanna go get a bit? <laughs> These do quite well, it's just like a standard like, yeah, polo top. Does alright. I don't even complain about it. So they can do like what, 25, 30? I ain't ever seen one which is just like black and plain like this, so it's quite nice. So I'm pretty chuffed with this one. I actually found this one. I you saw know, it. And you saw it, it but just I, because of the price. I'm a bit funny with prices, but you pay up sometimes. Yeah, but I think this might be all right. This is a nest dress, and it's like 100%. Um, I'm not sure if it's tweed wool, but it's wool. I think I've seen one go for about 40, but it didn't have this particular tartan on it. So I think you can get a little bit more for it. So it's 70% wool, 30% nylon. Nice. But so. We'll see. 
So this one, everyone kept kicking off me because I missed out on like a Mercedes thing. So I keep an eye out for it now. So this is like a Lewis special Vodafone cap. And I think these can go like, I've seen one go for like 30, 40 pounds, you know? It was three quid. That's good. So yeah, it was three pound. I think it'll do pretty well. It's a bit bright in here. But if you like Lewis Capaldi, you're going to go for yeah, bright. Exactly, Lewis Capaldi, yeah, the F1 driver. <laughs> All right, what's this one? Oh, yes. We have a Nike. A oh, Nike jumper on a wash tin. Round neck. It's like nicely washed out on a silver tag. Absolute beaut. And I thought I'd definitely give this one a go. It was 3 99 Is it 3 99 Yeah, 3 or 3 9 one or two. 3 yeah, 3 99 They always do nicely. 25 quid or something like that. It's got like a random button on it. What's cool, I it's think. Like it's a hole, I don't Yeah, but it's like a posh hole, isn't it? Speed hole. Yeah, it's a posh hole. Nice one. Posh hole. Posh hole. Sorry, that's tickled me. This was one of my finds. It's just a women's medium wrap full zip. Is it like a base layer top? Yes. Four ninety nine. This so stuff does well. Fleece though, isn't it? There so. will be a name in there. So it is the Nexus jacket. And so, so look. I'm going to check how much that's worth actually, because some of these wrap bits they do well, because obviously they go out of season, don't they? You know what I mean? So people always are after the things that they like. Women's there, look at that, absolute beast. There's one there which went for like £49.90 and then there's some £50, £50, £60. Yeah. £50, £60 quid for that. That's not going for £4.99 as it's well. It's a beauty, isn't it, man? Absolute beauty. This is a bit greyly. Would you say greyly or beastie? I'm going to say beastie. Beastie. It's pretty good, it's beastie. It's not something we've ever found before. I didn't know the brand, you did. Yeah, I've been looking for this forever. I did the comps and then I thought Pete will know. Ooh, I showed Pete. That was proper buzz, man. It's a Grimichi. Absolute beast. Look at that. It's just a nice little plain jumper. But how much did this go for though? How much what, what was the comps you saw? Oh, there's all sorts on there. What's like the top end ones? The top end's hundred like hundred. Hundred pounds into yeah. it. So much cheaper than that, man. There is a, I think it's a walking brand. I'm pretty sure it's a walking brand, but like like Arctrix is a walking brand, like a high-end one. But for 3 99 um, I think they got caught slipping on that one, didn't they? But it's meant to be like a baggy fit, I think, or something like that. Yeah, and you've got like... Absolute beaut. Obviously, they're the logos. So you found what? Grimichi, Rab thing, the David Beckham. Seems I'm here nice. finding what? Thinking <laughs> spoke chinos with a stain on it. <laughs> I, I think we can leave it to the viewers. Who do you think won today? Yeah, you don't need to leave it to the viewers. Is it me and Pete? For fuck's sake. All right, thanks again for watching. Appreciate it. Pick me, pick me. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment because I like the comments. I always try to apply to my own as well. So, thanks again. And we will. See in a bit. See you in a bit. See you in a bit. You say see you in a bit. Yeah, man. Peace out. See you in a bit. Bye. Peace. Take care. <laughs>